Mobile's eagerly anticipated $2.7 billion Mobile River Bridge project may soon collide with another major project in Mobile, the expansion of Mobile shipbuilder Austell USA. NBC 15's Darwin Singleton has been looking at the issue today. He joins us now. Darwin, both of these projects are huge for the port city and they can get in each other's way. Karis, no one said it would be easy to build a bridge over an active shipbuilding operation, especially one that is about to undergo a huge expansion. Well, next week, Mobile City Council set to consider approving a public hearing on Austell's request to grow their shipyard. Austell recently landed a couple of military contracts to build 19 steel hull vessels totaling $6.6 billion. That means the company will need to build four more ship assembly bays to be located on Pinto Island, just south of where the bridge will cross the Mobile River. Austell, already a busy shipyard, is about to become even busier, expecting to add about 2,000 new employees with this expansion. But that expansion comes even though the shipbuilder and ALDOT have yet to reach an agreement on some Austell property that lies in the path of, yes, that proposed I-10 bridge you see there. And while the bridge project isn't likely to affect the new expansion, footings for the bridge will take up some land that Austell currently uses to build ships, especially where employees park. And then there's the prospect of having a bridge built right over your head as you work. Well, Austell is moving ahead with its expansion project, and ALDOT is moving ahead with its bridge project. But both of them still have to work out an agreement about Austell property that ALDOT needs to build that bridge. Today, I asked an ALDOT spokesman about that unsettled issue. He didn't want to go on camera, but he did tell us that ALDOT and Austell are still in the negotiating stages on this, and that Austell knows not to alter or develop any of the land that ALDOT plans to acquire before this deal is done. Now, Austell USA isn't ready to talk about it just yet. As for the city, it's expected to address zoning issues for Austell's expansion next month, but most of the surrounding businesses seem to be on board. Now for Mobile, the construction of a major bridge and an expansion of a major employer are growing pains and all. It's a good problem for us to have. And Karis, if the council approves the public hearing, it should be held during the city council meeting set for September 5th. Darwin, thank you. As the Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project inches forward, the mayor of Spanish Fort is worried about congestion on the causeway. When I spoke with him today, he told me ALDOT needs to be mindful of the traffic that this long-awaited project will bring. Construction of the Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project is expected to begin early next year. We're still full steam ahead. You know, we're pretty excited about it. Uh, they have uh, selected the design and build teams. Burrell says ALDOT is working with the design and build team to continue to make progress on this project. But when it begins, people coming to and from Mobile and the Eastern Shore will have to take the causeway. We cannot wait anymore. We need to move forward. Spanish Fort Mayor Mike McMillan is talking about coming up with a plan for the causeway to mitigate traffic. My concerns of what the effects of the new construction, new bayway, toll, toll bayway, will create for the Spanish Fort community on the causeway. You know, the people that live in this part of the world are going to try to always go the free route, which will be only the causeway. Mayor McMillan says because of that, it will cause increased traffic. When you throw on construction or the the everyday wrecks we seem to have on the bayway, they're going to feed on the causeway. So the causeway is going to become a, a, a main thoroughfare, even though it already is. He says safety is also a concern when it comes to hurricane and tropical storm evacuations. If you have a tropical storm of a hurricane, it's going to flood. So then you don't have the causeway. In a statement from Tony Harris with the Alabama Department of Transportation, he says the department shares Mayor McMillan's desire to ensure that any increased causeway traffic doesn't negatively impact Spanish Fort. He says, quote, we are working with him on near-term solutions that can be underway in short order, end quote. It's been very cooperative. It's just been slow to get the plans done. The mayor says he'll continue to work with ALDOT to come up with an official plan. For the latest updates on these stories and more, follow NBC15 on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at mynbc15.com.